Welcome back to Curious Expedition. We are currently in third place in the race to be the best explorer. Freya is our explorer this time around. And we're going to go over here on the western, or sorry, the eastern part of Russia and uh, northern part of China over here. Let's go ahead. After getting up very early, I made haste and arrived at the docks. The crew had preparations left to do, so I spent my time on the deck enjoying the cool breeze. A military man approached me and spoke of a deserter who had abandoned his post and gone rogue with the natives. I would be handsomely rewarded if I could return with him. I'll accept that. The soldier was seemingly relieved as I accepted his request. He saluted us and wished me luck before leaving the harbor. Sergeant Malcolm Albert, a British soldier, offered to join our expedition. Hmm. We had five persons in our trek. We would need to dismiss someone in order to recruit a new member. We have decided to free up space. I say we get rid of... We have shields, shields. All right, the native is going to be going. And we recruited the British soldier, who should have the ability to give us some more offense with that rifle. Okay, we need... We need some chocolate or something. Can I sell that? All right, we're going to take the chocolate. We need it so that our sanity will stay at a level that... Uh, or so that we have a chance to keep our sanity at a level that won't end our game for us prematurely. All right. We need... What is this guy? Come on. We can promote one of one. Let's go ahead and promote the new guy. Sanity gain from fighting. Level up to gain this perk. Cool. Uh, oh, this person's a racist. We should have gotten rid of her. All right. We're going to jump up this direction and see what we can unlock through the jungle here. Caught a butterfly. All right. Let's make our way around all right we're gonna go through there it's gonna be a heck of a track here that is some kind of rock formation but it's one of the first places that we're in our little marker up here we arrived at a rock overhang it would serve as a basic shelter against the elements go ahead and rest overnight it was a rather cold night as we sat and stared into the campfire. This night, Kulus Deeb had a conversation with someone who was clearly not there. I'm going to let us charge up our health just a little bit. We're going to leave. And let's see here. We'll go to that point on the map right there. See what else it unlocks. All right. I believe this is some kind of elephant graveyard here. Isn't that a that's a that's a place? Let us in there. All right. So it's not. Um, let's head down this way. I wasted a little bit of travel time there. Um, it's got to be back up this way no come on all right we're gonna need a place to rest here soon yeah this is gonna drive us insane hopefully we don't eat the camel we are going to rest. I decided it would be a good idea to stay here and told the people to rest. It seemed like 
that everyone had lost hope. Even the warming flames of the campfire had a hard time to ease our minds. While sitting around the fireplace, we heard what sounded like a fight coming from nearby. A young native was struggling to fend off a hideous beast. Let's go ahead and help. All right. It is a gorilla. Let's go ahead and roll. Quick shot. Um, that's the only, all right, we're going to take the quick shot, all right, and we'll take a strong defense, and then let's roll again, defend, and that's not going to do anything for us, uh, one roll left, Ooh. All right. We might be able to beat up this gorilla. Maybe. Let's find out. All right. There we did a half a point. Does this combo do anything? Stable position. What does that mean? Shield two. All right. Roll again. Quick shot. We got nothing there, huh? All right, let's end the round. Oh, that guy is going to die. All right, well, double attack. This is tactical advantage, three shield, all right. Roll again. Give us the rifle. Boom, shakalaka. All right. Let's see if we can beat up this gorilla. I don't know. But I did a little bit of research. Oh, did we just... Oh, I'm dead. I don't think we're going to make it here. All right. Let's roll. Boom. Hands are doing nothing for us. Three damage. I'll take that. And one defend. So the way this works is there's a dice system, and you use different combinations of dice. Oh, man. We might all be dead here. All right. We beat up the gorilla. We stripped what was useful from the remains. We got a gorilla paw, two of them, some raw meat, and an animal tooth, a couple of animal teeth. All right. We prepared for the de departure. This had been an ideal place for resting, thanks to the slanted roof of our, over, over our heads. Um, she's wounded, right? Injured. I need... To who all's wounded? Just Freya Stark. All right. It was a rather cold night as we rested by the fireplace. Mary Montaigne had been upset for several days and finally told us that she had a serious problem with the presence of natives in our group. The plan was to dismiss Kurok from the group. We had to make a decision. No, she's a racist and she doesn't really help us any more than. Okay, let's see here. She's an alcoholic racist but has good cooking skills. Come on now. There we go. This guy has stealth and can carry just as much as she can. So we'll dismiss her. Marie Montaigne could not stay with us any longer. She left the trek heading towards an uncertain fate. All right, we're resting up here. We've got some meat. Let's go ahead and leave. 
And let's head off this direction. Oh boy. Let's move up here. Hopefully that'll be what we're looking for. It's a shrine. Let's go ahead and examine the shrine. A large building loomed in front of us. All manner of plant life grew towards the sun. Waist-high stairs led up to an enormous doorway. The structure showed some long cracks, but it seemed secure enough to explore. We quietly looked around the majestic hall. Our steps echoed as we approached the sacred altar. This thing is going to start crashing, and we're not going to be able to get out of here. The moment we obtained the treasure, we hurried outside as the shrine collapsed and huge mountains erupted from the ground. I'm so excited, he says, huh? Can we eat any of this? Um, yeah, we can't we can't eat that. That stinks. Um This is not going to go well for us very quickly. Wow. Without a word, Kurok walked up to the campfire and gifted me some coca leaves. He had been keeping for hard times. He then turned and walked away into the darkness. Gave us a little bit of sanity back. We'll put up a weather balloon. All right. Let's make our way towards this waterfall. Hopefully we can rest at the waterfall. This waterfall was of enormous scale. It was an awe-inspiring sight. The water cooled down the air, creating a fresh breeze. Let's rest the heck out of this place. I told to pack down the trek and allowed everyone to rest. Exhaustion was wearing us down. We barely managed to collect enough wood to light a campfire. Unexpected visitors arrived. We were approached by natives painted in bright colors. There was nothing we could do but stare back at the natives. Kulus Deeb nervously leaned towards me. He whispered that the natives were spies of a hostile tribe and we should send them away. Trusting them was a risk I was not willing to take. Without a second glance, they left and were quickly swallowed by the darkness of the night. Fair enough. We are going to rest this through until we're back up and have all of our sanity. This night, Private Newton Richard had a conversation with someone who was clearly not there. All right, we're still getting crazy. Oh, and there's a gorilla who wants to tear our arms off. We're going to completely rest up so that we're completely ready to go, ready to take some more stuff on. This night, we could hear the sound of drums from somewhere in the jungle. Kulus Deeb was anxious and began praying quietly. All right, let's get the hex out of here. Let's head up this way and see if we can find a path up into that hill. Let's explore that place. It was an absolute miracle that Freya Stark had managed to prevent her wound from getting infected. It had healed well, and she was now as fit as a fiddle. Yikes. Let's examine the shrine. I didn't have any bandages or anything. There was nothing I could have done. A shrine towered above us. Time had taken its toll on the structure and, and had eroded that what was once a majestic sight. What remained of a narrow staircase led to the only entrance. I could swear I heard the sound of rushing water underneath the ground. Let's use a rope. After securing everyone, was, after securing everyone we successfully scaled the towering shrine. Before us lay some kind of ceremonial room. We investigated the altar, and we found a golden vase. We are going to get rid of the gorilla meat. We grabbed the treasure and hurried outside as enormous fountains of water broke through the ground and started to flood the entire area. We had to run for our lives to not drown in the huge lake that was beginning to form. Let's... Head over this way. We're overburdened. Uh, 
All right. Gorilla. Um. Quick shot. We can evade. No combo there. Oh, we're getting beat up real bad again. Let's go ahead and see if we can take out this gorilla. And, ooh, rifle. Brain, no dice. Oh, we're all gonna get murderized here. All right, quick shot. Evade. Oh man, this is not good at all. Um, let's use evade again. Quick shot. Come on now. We'll continue to try evading here. Oh, dang. We might make it through this battle, I don't know. Oh, this is no bueno. We're all sorts of beat up here. Game over! You died in combat. Oh, man. That stinks. All right, we were doing pretty well. I'll see you guys next time, if you like, for some more Curious Expedition. Click like, subscribe, oh my, it's Cody!